time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. How much should home care nurses be paid? This evening, Rhode Island state lawmakers are tack tackling that question. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell explains. Susan. Mike and Caroline, home care nurses in Rhode Island haven't received a raise in almost two decades because the Medicaid reimbursement rate hasn't gone up. Tonight, the House Finance Committee is discussing a bill that would raise that reimbursement by 40% to match rates paid in Massachusetts. Tegan Grant is 11. She makes me a better person every day. She was born prematurely and needs specialized around the clock care. My husband and I alone just can't do that. We both work. We have a mortgage. Tegan's mom Kim says the family is fortunate to have home care nurses, but the care hasn't always been consistent. We actually just had a nurse leave. Unfortunately, um, she she needed more money. She wanted to start a family. According to a comparison of state data, the Medicaid reimbursement rate for private duty nurses in Rhode Island is about 40% lower than the rate in Massachusetts. Nurses can also make more money working in a doctor's office or hospital. The difference is often 10 to 15 dollars an hour, according to Ashley Sadlier of Beata Home Health Care. Families across Rhode Island are not getting the services that they need because there's a workforce issue. There, there are nurses out there that are not choosing to work in home care because they're not going to be able to get paid what they need to get paid. So the home care nursing industry is fighting for a pay increase. A bill introduced in the state legislature would increase the base rate for Medicaid contracted home nursing and hospice providers by 40 percent. The estimated cost in the state budget, $2 million. And my fear is if this bill does not pass and the few companies that are left um, can't stay afloat, what do we do? It's not like we can just pack up our whole life and move to another state. It just doesn't work like that. Rhode Island's Executive Office of Health and Human Services would have to implement the pay increase if the bill passes. The agency did not respond to my request for comment. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.